What's up everybody, it's your girl Vivian and I am back with another video. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, hello, please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on all platforms and don't forget to click that notification bell on the side that'll keep you alerted anytime I upload a new video. This is a lifestyle channel as well as my ability to share with you all my journey on Manjaro Terzepatide, okay? So I'm not gonna hold y'all too long. I just wanted to come give a midweek update. This is week 62 of the 12.5 of MJ left arm jab days and Sundays, okay? So for those of you who are visiting this channel for the first time or even watching this video for the first time, hello, my name is Vivian. You can call me Vivi. I have been diagnosed with type two diabetes since September of 2021. I started Manjaro on August 20th of last year. My starting weight was 404 pounds. My A1C was greater than 14. My current A1C is down to 5.4, but my three month update to check my A1C again is coming up this Friday. And as of Sunday, I was 319.2, okay? So, Without further ado, we're going to get right into this video. Again, I'm not going to hold y'all too long. I'm going to try to make this very short and sweet. Okay? So, this is a midweek update. Okay. Y'all all know my jab days is on Sundays. So, I took my, my shot Sunday morning. Y'all all saw that in my injection day video. I took it in my left arm. Because, I, I don't know. I just wanted to give my left eye and my right thigh a break. Okay? Suppression, I didn't feel... I, I, I didn't really feel much of it. I can feel that, it, you know, it was there, but it wasn't as strong. Um, food noise is under control. Um, but to say like I had strong suppression, no. Um, which is a good thing because I want to eat, okay? I don't want to be so s suppressed the way I don't eat at all. I want to eat. Um, again, I've been, you know... You know how my bowel does, especially when you're on these GLP-1 medications, you have to keep you something like Miralax, Milk and Magnesia, Mago 7, things to kind of regulate your bowel when you're on these medications. Because again, mine is like either every other day or, you know, two days, I don't see nothing. Something try to come out and it doesn't. That's to be expected. That's what I've been dealing with this week. Um, I took Milk and Magnesia last night. This morning was full throttle. Um, so again, my, you know, I always like to weigh myself on jab days to see where I'm at for the start of the week. And I don't weigh myself until midweek. So Sunday on jab day, I was, I was 319.2. Today I'm 317.4. As we all know, you know, I, you know how my weight does on midweek. Okay, so, <laughs> so child, listen, I, I say I wanted to make my weighing days, you know, my, my final update, but just know this is midweek. As of right now, this is where I'm at. I'm at 317.4. That's where I'm at for midweek, okay? I know I say I possibly, I, I, sh I should make it my final update, but I'm gonna give it a few days. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick to my normal routine midweek and then final weigh-in day on Saturdays. Um, it's a whole lot going on. Um, I know Friday, I'm off Friday. It's my doctor's appointment, my three month checkup, A1C. I will definitely keep y'all posted on that uh, to see where I'm at. If I'm still at 5.4, if I went down, hopefully I didn't go up. You know, I would definitely keep y'all posted on that. But then after that, it's my um, high school homecoming. And it's like, <laughs> child, listen, when it's, when it's homecoming week, we just shut the city down around here. Okay, so <laughs> it, it, it's a lot. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of celebration going on Friday and stuff. I'm going to try to go because last year I was supposed to go and I didn't. Juvenile came. We had a whole concert out here. Juvenile had came. I missed everything. I had bought tickets, everything, and I did not go. This year, I'm going. I'm going to make an effort to get out of the house and go. You know, but I just, I, I don't. I remember last year, I was just feeling 
weird. I don't know if it was the, the, the Manjaro making me feel like that, you know, because I was fresh on it, you know, last year. And it's like my mindset wasn't the same as it was before I got on Manjaro. Because before I got on Manjaro last year, I was excited, you know, talking about our homecoming. Because, you know, every time it's homecoming week out here, we shut the city down, okay? But it's like once I got on Manjaro last year, it's like I became less interested in going to this homecoming. I'm telling you, the way this medicine works on your mind and on on your digestive system and all of that, I'm telling you, it's dual acting. So it don't just control food noise too. I feel like it does other things. It, it makes you think more clearly. I don't know, but hopefully, you know, this year I'm gonna I'm gonna make an effort to get out there and go because I've just been wanting to be in my house lately and just relax and stuff. So I'm gonna try to make an effort to go this year, but. Again, I'm not going to hold y'all too long. But I just wanted to come make this video and just give y'all a midweek update. I'm thinking about switching my jab days. I know I know. in the past I said I always want to go back to Sundays. But I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like Thursdays used to work better for me. For some reason. I, 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 don't, I, I used to get good results. For some reason. I, I don't know what it is, y'all. When I changed my, my wedding days from Thursdays back to Sundays, it really wasn't, it really wasn't nothing bad. I just missed doing it on Sundays. You know, like I, that's how it all started last year when I started uh, Manjaro. So I don't know. I feel like going back to Thursdays. <laughs> that's just me. So if it's on Sundays, I can probably move it up to Friday. But then, you know, after that, you know, because you, you, you have to, I forgot how they say that. When you move your jab days, it has to be within two to three days, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, in the comments. Um, but I think it's, it's two to three days before your shot day that you can move it. So if my shot days is on Sundays, I can move it to Friday. If I'm saying it right. Or Thursdays. I'm going to double check on that. But yeah, I, I think I'm going back to Thursdays. I, I really feel like I'm... Yeah, and, and you know, that's going to hold me over. Because you know, on weekends, by the time the weekend come, oh, don't, that, that food dance is coming back heavy. Okay? So, and you know, on weekends, you're home and, you know, when you're home and just sitting around, you're prone to want to eat and do all that stuff. So, you know, and junk and all of that. So I feel like it's best for me to go back to either Thursday or Fridays doing jab days. That way when the weekend come, I ain't got all that food noise. Okay. And it's nothing wrong with having a little bit of food noise because again, you don't want it to be to where... You're not eating at all. You have to eat. When you're on this, these medications, you have to eat. I know, I, and I'm guilty of it. In the past, when I first started, I was focused on suppression so bad. I wanted to be suppressed. But now I don't care about being suppressed because I want to eat. Okay? I, wanted to, I want to be suppressed enough to where this medication is going to allow me to eat, but at a certain point, it's going to stop me. Okay? I don't want it. I don't want to be suppressed away. I don't want to. I, I can't eat at all. It's it's so strong to where I can't eat. No, I don't want that. You wanna you wanna be suppressed enough. You know it. You know it's okay to be suppressed enough to where you're able to eat. And then at some point, Mr. Chazepatide is like, okay, you don't had enough. I don't let you enjoy it now. Okay, nah, you don't had enough. That's how I want it to be. Um. And sometimes, you know, it's okay to have a little bit of food noise because sometimes when if you're having that food noise, it's probably telling and and if you if you not eating that much and you and you saying you having that food noise, that's that's probably a sign telling you because you need to eat. Okay. You know, <laughs> you know, if you got food noise and you know you ain't been eating, yeah, I've been eating because you suppress you so 
your suppression is so strong, but you have an inferno that's telling you that's a sign saying yes, because you need to eat. You need to eat. Okay, so it's kind of okay to have that little bit of food noise because if you haven't been doing that much eating and you having some food noise, that's a sign telling you you need to eat. Okay, you got to eat on these medications. You got Try some. If you can't eat no food, try a protein shake. Something. Something to, to kind of, you know, get you through the day. You know what I'm saying? So there you have it, y'all. I'm down to 317.4. We already know this roller coaster ride. Uh, you know, that's how I'd be every week. I'd be 319 on Jad Day. Then midweek, I'm like 316, 317. And then come final day on Saturday, is I'm like, yeah, it's, you know, you know, it's to be expected. So I just want to come give y'all a, a midweek of the everything is going good. You know, all is well. All is well. Thank you so much for the comments, the likes, the shares. If y'all share my video, if y'all watching my video, thank y'all so much because it really helps a lot and it really helps to bring this channel out and to push this channel out to more viewers. So I appreciate all of y'all for doing that. Whoever is binge watching my videos, I appreciate that as well. You know, and I see the comments. I appreciate all of y'all, um, especially on my last video about the obesity situation. Yeah, I, I just want to tell the world, be kind and be patient to us because it's not easy like y'all think, you know, it, it's not easy. And just know that whoever is watching, you know, that's still on the, the fence of not wanting to take this medication, just know you have options. OK, you know, just know you have options and, 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 and I get the frustration. I get the frustration because you, you see everybody losing weight and like. I get the frustration, but just just understand you got options, okay? Whatever options you choose that works best for you, do that, you know? So, and, and as always, protect your mental when you're on these platforms. Protect your mental, okay? Because, baby, social media the toxic nature, you know, I, I don't, I don't see no toxic stuff on YouTube. That's why I, I'm glad I came back to YouTube and I'm glad I came back to my Instagram. Cause I don't see none of that toxic stuff on those two platforms, but Facebook, that's family and friends, you know? Yeah. But that TikTok, TikTok is toxic, bro. I, I, I don't care. I, I, I don't see how some people don't understand it, but TikTok is toxic. And I don't miss nah nothing about it. Nah nothing. I ain't coming back. <laughs> so, you know, but I ain't gonna lie. I do miss a lot of content creators on there, especially in the GOP one community. I do miss a lot of them. Um, But I ain't coming back. So, <laughs> child. <laughs> I'm not coming back. TikTok pissed me off too when they banned my Manjaro account. Y'all can kiss it because I ain't coming back. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos on all platforms. You see, again, I, I wasn't trying to hold y'all too long, but you know me once I start talking. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video, and I will be back soon with many, many more to come. Bye.